rifling like ah can't really zoom in much so yeah so this is the IS3 in all its glory I do like it. it it's unique it's not I don't know it's Russian well, let's put some camo on it. Let's get some winter. Did they have more winter? Well, this is just Russia. Russian winter camo. Not bad. Not bad. Um, we got another camo. More camo. More camo. This is the pure white camo. I like the pure white camo because it shows all the scratches and dents that the real tank has. Because as you can see here, this is wear marks. This is where crew members would basically hop on the tank and get up onto the turret load shells, you know, all the fun stuff. And I, I like it. I like it. I do. Uh, let's go quickly do some summer camo. Boop, boop. Yeah, I know I'm going way too fast, but... Eh. I am running the Ultra HD client because they're testing the difference between the SD and HD, and I'm running all HD, high res, everything. And, boy, does it look awesome. It looks great. Uh, some desert camo if you're into desert camo. I, I personally don't run camo on my tanks, so... Eh, not bad, not bad. Well, that's the IS-3 in HD. That's one of the HDs that's coming this patch, which is fantastic. Another tank is this SU-85. Oh, come on. Zoom in on the rifle. Oh, you saw some rifling. It does have rifles. It's just cameras not being nice. It's basically a T-34 with brick on it. They have a nice log. I love the logs on Russian vehicles. Nice fuel tanks. Nice radiator. Grill type thingy majigger. Nice exhaust. Nice exhaust. Nice. Square hatch. Nice antennae. Tainai. Tena. Tena thingy majigger. Let's get some camo on this thing. Show off some camos. Not bad. Not bad. Some more camouflage, camouflage. I like this one. I'm just going to show you the one I like more. Because it shows more of the detail. And I, Oh, there we go. There's the rifling. Ha, ha. I told you I can find the rifling. There it is. See? There's the rifling. Love rifling. Ha, ha. I found it. See, I like that. Because you can see there's wear there. Wear there. There's wear all there. Top of it's all scratched up. The back of it has some marks where the exhaust would basically stain the paint. And it's just, it looks all around good. Let's go with some summer camo. Boop. Meh. Eh. I'm, I, like I said, I, I don't like camo on my tanks. I think it just ruins the base value of a tank. Yeah, in a practical sense, it, it does help, but I don't run it. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not a bad looking tank. Last camo. Now, tell me in the comments if you like me going like what I did with the last thing I did in my other video versus what I'm doing here. Was bas It's basically just looking around in the garage. This one is the J German, I was going to say Japanese, the German Leopard 1. And by gosh, she's pretty. Just... I love the details that they add there. It's it's not flat. It's actually raised up a bit, and I I actually like that. I like this. I love the grill or the exhaust plate thingy. Plate thingy. Yes, I use words good. I just like that. That looks nice. The turret looks fantastic. The upper. I wish that was a little bit more detailed, but yeah, it's it's it. It works, and I, I can't complain. Can't complain. It looks fantastic. Got some ropes, got some spare tracks, got a big box. Big box, good box. Got some smoke. Gotta have those smoke. Got those mirrors that don't seem to work properly in this situation. Sorry if you can hear trains in the background. They're just being choo choos, you know. But I do like the tracks. Let's put some camo on it. Got the zigzag pattern. I like this one better. There we go. So you can see scratches down below on the lower plate. You can see nice weather marks. A lot of weather marks here because this is where the driver would basically get up and into his hatch. 
This side's not really weathered much because you don't really use that much. The rear hatch, this is where the exhaust will come out, so it's a little... The paint's not really there, so... I like it. I really do. Some summer camo. I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of camo. I really ain't. Polka dots. I like this one more for like a leopard because it looks like a leopard. It has spots. In my opinion, I like that snake pattern. Spotty pattern. Let's get some desert camo. We got this one. It does look nice though. I can't complain. It does look like a nice vehicle. All HD and stuff. I, I love the Leopard one. It is a great medium tank. If you want to go up a medium tank line in Germany, get the Leopard one. Forget about the E50M. It's not worth it in my opinion. But The Hummel, the first artillery to be HD. And look at that. Look at the cannon. You can see the rifling in there. But, oh. Look at that. The road wheels. The real idler wheel. The sprocket gear. There's no spare track link in the front, which is kind of sad, but look at that. The exhaust is covered up. Like before, that used to have been just an open grate. They put a box around it, so that's not bad. But the interior is detailed. You got the firing canister or the, you know, the thing where the thing hits the thing that makes the powder explode and the shell flies out. It's the Ah, I don't know what it's called, but someone will say in the comments, like, sure. But look at the interior. You got the safety tread on the interior. Got some boxes to store ammunition. Probably underneath this, more ammunition. Ah, oh, such a nice vehicle. I don't know what it looks like with the other gun. Should I mount it? Should I mount the small gun? Purchase. Stock gun purchased and mounted. That is sad. I am sorry, but that is sad. That is super sad. I want the bigger gun back on it, please. <laughs> oh, what is that? That is that was sad. Thank you. Give me give me my big barrel back. Thank you. That small barrel is so disappointing. I'm sorry, you had to see that. Let's put some camo. I like this one. Let's see some wear around the hatches where the drivers would get in, of course. Not really much wear. Got some wear down there where the paint would get scratched off. Got wear by the shovel, making it look like the shovel's been used. The hatch doesn't look that weathered, but there's some scratches. And... The barrel has like a singe, well, the paint away from it. The interior doesn't have any paint, which is kind of sad, but... Don't really need to paint the interior, except for like enemy aircraft attack. I don't know why there's so many trains today, oh my gosh. Stop it, trains. Go toot somewhere else. Got some camo here. I like this camo. Like, if I'm going to put any camo on any German tank, it will be this one. Like, screw everything else. I don't like it. But some people beg to differ, so... God, please, everyone, some desert camo. It's not bad. Hummel's not a bad-looking tank. I love the Hummel. Love it. Like, the HD model of this, they did a fantastic job. I can't complain. Everything looks right. And it's just, oh, so wonderful. Then we go to America. America, America, with the Jumbo. The Sherman Jumbo. And they did a good job. It looks like, from the first time I see it, it's like they changed the turret, like, top turret up a bit, so it looks like the... Easy eight, but then again, I haven't played my Sherman in Jumbo in years. But look at it; it looks thick. Like that's thick armor. Like, oh, this thing's gonna be fun. I also like the way the track is. Like the track has the weird jutting out piece of track. I'm guessing that's like stabilizer or something. But you can see through. That's see through, and that's also see through. And I like that. The side skirts are nice. The rear grade is nice. They also have some spare track link here, which is fantastic. All around a nice vehicle. It really is. Um, let's see if what the stock turret looks like, please. Yeah, I don't care. Mount it. I want to mount it. I don't care. Mount. Oh my gosh, I hate it. So, gimme. 
There, mount. No, 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 I don't want to go to battle. Bad idea. Come on, okay, oof. Okay, so this turret is still like that. I put the small gun on it, so don't worry about that. But it's not bad. Let's put on the top turret again, because the top turret's where it's all at. Stop it. Mount. There we go. Mount that too. Awesome. Loading. Awesome. So, um, let's go to some exterior. Let's see some camo. I like this one more. You can see all the wear marks. Get some wear there. Also, they're also dented. And I also like the track because it has the pads. The pads are detailed. They're sticking out of the tank or the treads, so to speak. And I like that. Gun has some wear there. Hatches have some wear. Where the exhaust comes has a lot of paint removed. I'm not not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Kind of like it. See some summer camo. What is this? I haven't looked at some American camo in a while, so it might be different. It might change. Not bad though. Deserts. Let's check out some desert camo. Ooh, that's not bad. I like this one. This camo, desert camo, looks cool. This one looks nice as well because it has that weird line that makes it like two tone or something. I don't know. Well, that's the Sherman Jumbo in all its HD glory. I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. Next we have the Pershing. The M26 Pleasen. And. Yeah. Not bad. I'm not a big fan of the Pershing, but at least it looks pretty. It looks very pretty. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Can't really complain that it doesn't look nice. Well, nothing really important to see on here. It's just a Pershing, I guess. Let's check out some paint, because paint's always wonderful. Let's check out this. Got wear here. Got some bullet holes, it looks like, or some s small fire. Got a lot of wear there for a person to get in, it looks like. Um. Don't say a lot of wear on the turret. You got some wear marks there, there, and around the turret. But other than that, it looks kind of clean. Got some wear marks by on the engine deck. The rear looks pretty much clean, except for some scratches. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Some desert camo, because I skipped summer. I skip everything. These things are fully elited, by the way, so if they look not like yours, because you don't have yours elite status, then that's why. Summer camo. Yeah, I know. I'm all over the place. Get some weird. This that does not look like that. I'm sorry. That picture does not look like that whatsoever. So, oh, um, not bad though. Not a bad thing. Do I like the Persian? No, I hate the Persian. I don't like the tank. But the Super Persian, yes, this is also HG. That it was supposed to be released last patch, but there was some problems with this front plate. Now, as you see, the hull armor is 139. If you have the Super Pershing, good, keep it, because it now this is OP. They re-gave you back your front armor, so they nerfed it, and now everyone that sold it needs to buy their Super Pershing back, because this thing is now fun again. Not like it was ever not fun, because they rebuffed it. But you got to do it soon because the Super Pershing might be leaving. So make sure you get your Super Pershing very quickly. But it's basically like the Pershing, but without side skirts. Which at first threw me off because I never had a Super Pershing. I had the Pershing. So when I didn't see any side skirts, I was like, whoa. What's going on here? But it's a nice tank. I bought one. I love it. It's a great tank. Let's see some camo. I like doing the winter camo only. I hope you don't, guys don't mind if I just do the winter camo. Got some very big wear marks there. Yes, you see, saw the rifling in the barrel, which is fantastic. I like it. I love HD tanks. Like, Wargaming does HD tanks perfectly. And that's what I like. I like Wargaming's perfect tanks. Now, there's a lot more to go. Well, you got this one, which is the Tier 10 M48 A1 Patton, and it's fantastic. You got the rifled barrel, the fume extractor. Oh, I love 105mm guns. I really do. And I love the pads. Look at that. They're... They're thick. 
thick pads, and I like that. I like the linkage arms. I really do. I like this little wheel. That actually works. It actually goes up and down. I wish I could show you, but maybe next time. If Depends if you like it or not. Just tell me in the comments. Do you like the old way where I went into a training room match with a friend, and basically he used the same tank as I, and I went through the details looking at close up? If you like that, then tell me in the comments. If you like what I'm doing right here where I'm just circling it in the garage, pointing out all the details, then just tell me. I want to know. Got a nice sloped back end, which is pretty good if you want to bounce shells, hopefully, maybe from the back end. I'm probably not. Rear end's only 36. <laughs> but look at that. You've got a nice tent or a camo net. I'm guessing that's a camo net. A nice jerry can. You still got this turret, though, with the big bulky R2-D2, which oh, I hate the R2-D2 so much sometimes. Because it just, like, you poke around a corner and then bonk, you get in the R2-D2. Hopefully they made it stronger. I hope they made it stronger. So you don't get hit there more often. Well, let's look at the camo. I like this camo. Look at the gun. Look at the wear marks. A lot of scratches there. There's not a lot of wear and tear by the commander's hatch where, or the driver's hatch where you get in either on the turret either. But I love putting on this because it brightens up the colors. Like everything is now brighter and you can see more detail. Like on the engine deck, you can see everything. You can see the shovels and the hammers and the axe all in more detail. And it just, for me, it just gives a little bit more depth to what I'm looking at sometimes. Well, that's the patent. Clicky. There's also American Heavy Tank, the T32. I never went up the American Heavy line. Let's upgrade this to make it fully upgraded. Let's put the turret on it. Purchase. I know I should have done this before the video. Oh come on. Purchase. But it doesn't matter. Mount. There we go. Put the top. Stop it. Top gun. Yes. Purchase. Yes. There we go. Back to garage. There we go. So now you got the 105 millimeter gun, got the top turret. And I like that. That looks very good. The way the tracks are stored on the side. Like before, it was just a big solid mongle of whatever it was, and it didn't look right. It just it didn't. Like it's not bad. The tracks still have that weird jutting piece of metal. I don't know what it's for. Maybe someone will tell me in the comments, cause I would love to know. Cause I'm way too lazy to look it up. <laughs> looking up things. That's what I got you guys for. And I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Ah. They got wear marks there. Got a nice gouge there. You even took a shot. Uh, gunfire. The turrets has weathering on it. Weather there. Got a tent. I'm guessing that is. Nice exhaust. The exhaust looks pretty nice as well. Got the gun brace. A big engine deck. Big, huge engine deck. Another thing that they do when they HD model tanks is they correct its everything. Like, if it's missing, let's say, it's missing a handle on its driver's hatch, they will add it because that's what it's supposed to have. Let's Can we see the rifling? Eh, no. No rifling. Sorry. But it looks nice. I can't complain. And I love my tanks. I really do. And this is the Wolverine. It's much like the Archer in the British line. The, it's basically the same thing, but this one's American, and it mounts the American gun, because Americans are superiorly better than British. But basically, it's the same thing. All the th little things are see-through. You can see through those, which is fantastic. I like see-throughs, because it just makes it much more realistic, and I like that. Let's put some camo on it. Got some weathering there. One thing I like about TDs like this is you can see the gun recoiling. That's one thing you don't get in War Thunder, is you don't see the gun recoiling. Well, I don't. Got the exhaust there. Got some tools. Handy dandy tools. The 50 cal. You can even see the bullets, which is fantastic. See the seats where they sit. It's basically the same thing as the British thing. Moving on to the French, the AMX 5120. And it's Shia Brute. She's much bigger than I expected, because French tanks are supposed to be small, teeny things. But no, this thing's huge. This 
thing's big. It is a big, big tank. Got some spare track here, a rope, cable, thingy-majigger. I don't know why they have braces. Maybe to hold up the the scaffolding, the metal bits. There we go, metal bits. Got a small idler wheel in the front, a big sprocket wheel in the back. A lot of intricate road wheels. I don't know why the French did this. I think they basically like took a captured German tank of some kind that had that road wheel, basically stripped everything off of it and made their own tank. Like everything from their forwards was removed, but except the lower hall. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. It's not a bad thing. Uh, did I mount the top turret? Oh, it doesn't have a top turret. Okay. Problem solved. Take a look at some paint. It's not like some paint, man. Lots of scratches. Lots of weathering here and there. Gun barrel. Rifling. It does have rifling. Or not. Phase two, the gun. The engine deck is huge. Nice exhaust. I do like the way the French look, but I hate autoloaders. Like, I can't play them. Like, they don't feel like good tanks to me. Like, I hate the concept of auto-loading. Like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't fit my play style, you know? But, not bad looking. Like, I can't complain the way they look. It's a big, giant, massive French vehicle. I'm wearing the Cromwell, one of my favorite tanks in the world of tanks. Doesn't she look nice? She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Some tools. I love the track. The track is fine. Got the machine gun, got my barrel. I do have a marks of excellency, so beware if you come up with me. I'm excellent. Ha ha ha. Got some nice weathering there. Gun barrel has some weathering on it. Turret has a nice one. The engine deck has a lot of weathering on it. A lot of scratches, dings, and missing paint. This is like a ladder to get up, I think. You just come to the back of the tank, step up. But I dumb. Look at that. The Cromwell. I love Cromwell. Fun tank. Fun tank. Legitly fun. Okay, that's it for the Cromwell. I know I'm going faster and faster, but I'm getting lower and lower on video time. But Here's the Type T-34. Basically a T-34, but Chinese. I love this. That is Intergit. And I like that. I like that a lot. I also like that it's different than the T-34. Like, the track is different as a different dry sprocket, which is unique. And I like that. And this also has spare fuel tanks. And I like fuel tanks. It adds a lot of character to the tank. Granted, it is just a T-34, but Chinese. So, not really much to it. Got some weathering here. The hatch is weathered. The gun is nicely weathered. I want to see rifling, but the gun's too small. Blah. It's a nice all-around tank. Pretty, pretty. Desert camo. I don't know why Chinese gets good camo sometimes. It's just... Eh. Onward to the last HD tank that is coming this patch. And this in relation, there's also probably going to be two or three more patches after this. So... I don't know. We might see more stuff. We might see some premium tanks be released, but we never know. But this is the Type 58, which is basically a T-3045, but Chinese. I, I like this one. I like the Chinese version of this. Like, the T-34 is nice. Like, the T-3045 in the Russian tech tree is nice, but I prefer this one sometimes more. Because it just feels better. In my opinion, it just it feels better. Like, it has a faster reload, which is surprising, but I like it. Put my camo on it so I can show you there's some weathering right there, some more weathering right there. Got rifling in the barrel, which is fantastic. It also has a small fuel tank there, which is cool. Well, all around, it's a nice tank. I really like it. I really like all the HD models. In my opinion, the best HD model is the Leopard 1. I love the Leopard 1. Leopard 1 HD is the best HD model out of everything. It's just, ah, oh, look at that. I also love the Hummel. Jumbo is nice. 
IS-3 is fantastic. Super Pershing is good. I can't wait to play it after this patch is done. So, I hope you liked this video. And remember to clicky click the like button if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it for the test server. So I hope you enjoyed it. And this patch will be coming soon. And if there's any new content coming in this patch, like if there's something for test 2 or test 3 that they just surprise to add, I will be doing it. So look forward to them. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.